guys. Um, doing something a little different. Uh, this isn't a metal detecting, uh, no, a normal metal detecting hunt video. I'm doing something a little different. So about a week and a half ago, I went on a, a hunt and it ended up being this massive relic hunt where I was just finding all sorts of old uh, relics, really cool stuff. And one of the things that I found was an antique padlock. I pulled it out of the ground. It was all rusty and and the rust was really caked on there. So you could only tell the shape of the padlock. You couldn't really see anything else. Uh, threw it in my pouch. I was pretty uh, excited about that. Uh, actually, why don't I play just that portion of that video of me finding the padlock. So check this out. What did I just say in my last clip? Something about this turning into a relic hunt? I mean, come on! Look at this! I am pretty sure, I can't... I'm, I'm pretty sure this is an old padlock. I haven't found a single coin! Wow! I'm pretty sure... That is just an antique padlock. That is cool. I dug it out. It was like right there. There's got to be some coins in here. This is, I mean, this is cool. Look at this. I got my spoon in there. I got, got a bunch of other junk and stuff, but I got some cool relics and just no coins yet. All right. I'm not, I, I mean, I'm not complaining. All right. So there is the find and you could, you could see in the video uh, that that padlock was trashed that uh, you know and I found stuff like that before where um, uh, it was just super super rusty throw it in a five gallon bucket uh, of iron things or whatever but that one I hung on to um, and I decided to try to clean it up and I used electrolysis on it and I, I first of all let me just give a disclaimer I am not a professional electrolysician, um, whatever that would be. Uh, I basically, to figure out how to do electrolysis, looked on YouTube and saw some videos of guys cutting up old cell phone chargers and putting alligator clips on them. And, uh, and so I just kind of followed that. I'll actually show the setup that I used to do this, but uh, what I want to do is actually show you the padlock after I used electrolysis on it to clean it up. So let me uh, flip this camera around and we'll take a look. All right, so <clears throat> here is the padlock now. And uh, I got a lot of the rust off. I didn't, uh, I, I did it, I did electrolysis on it overnight. Um, and I didn't want to go too much further because I didn't want it to begin eating into the metal uh, or I don't know if that's even possible but I don't know I like where it's at right now so I didn't want to continue what I really thought was just incredible uh, is these brass rivets uh, that go through the padlock that that cause the hinge right here and must hold the locking mechanism in place uh, how they just came alive I mean they shined up really nice and as you can see, right right across here are is some lettering that you never would have been able to see before. I can see a C H I I think an L and I, I can't really make it out. And then down here, right above my thumb, is the word eight level. It's an eight level padlock. And I looked that up on eBay and found all sorts of listings for antique eight level padlocks and and across the top here they'll say things like Samson or Goliath or some other kind of strong hero name uh, but I, that's I'm I'm pretty Mastodon I think was another one uh, but that's not what this says and I can't really make it out and I didn't see uh, I didn't see anything that that looked similar so I'll keep working on trying to make that out but I thought I'd show you how this relic cleaned up 
uh, from that rusty clump of, uh, of stuff. So really, I'm really happy with that. Now let me just uh, take you in the garage and I'll show you a little bit about the, the electrolysis setup that I used. This is my setup that I used. Um, actually, let me come over here. Like I said, I looked on U YouTube and this was what a lot of guys said to use. Um, uh, hold on a second. Uh, just an old cell phone charger. Uh, and this one, you can see the output on this one is pretty small. Uh, maximum 800 milliamps, a little four and a half to six and a half volts. So pretty minor. Then you cut the wire off, pull out the positive and negative terminals, and then put these onto alligator clips. And I, I actually haven't pulled this out. So alligator clips. And um, there's all sorts of uh, things. You've got your anode and your cathode and blah, 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 your positive, negative. I don't even know if this is positive and that's negative. The way I do it is I hook one end up to this stainless steel spoon. <laughs> what the heck? Where'd my spoon go? <laughs> okay. Well. Um, check that out. It, oh, uh, it's not, it's not going to, I have it tied off on this little ice cream bucket. It's not going to focus in on my little, my little, there it is, stainless steel spoon dissolved. And I don't know, it, it might still be in there, but I just don't want to stick my hand down in there right now. This is all of the stuff that came off of the padlock. All that goop in there. The, the water, the, the liquid is water with salt. Okay, but anyways, what I do, uh, I don't know. I, I don't know if this is even the negative and the red is the positive. I hook, I hook one end up to the stainless steel spoon. You stick that in. And then I hook the other end up to the object that I want to uh, electrolysis. And then I watch. And you want your item to be cleaned to be the one to start bubbling. And so that's how I, how I did that, how I cleaned that up. So um, I'm going to throw this out in the, in the yard somewhere. But anyways, um, it, worked out, it worked out really well. I, I was happy with it. And, uh, you know, I'm a rookie at this thing. But I thought I'd just share with you guys what I was able to accomplish. So anyways... Hope you guys have good hunts, find lots of cool stuff, and if you've got any tips or tricks on cleaning finds or electrolysis or why my spoon uh, dissolved like it was in acid or something, uh, leave me a comment and, and help me out. I'd greatly appreciate it. All right, take care.